Welcome back to Showbiz Tonight. It's 30 minutes past the hour. I'm A.J. Hammer coming to you from New York City. And I'm Brooke Anderson in Hollywood with big news breaking today. Caught on tape, David Cassidy's DUI arrest. The dramatic and equally shocking new video today of David Cassidy's arrest for allegedly driving drunk in Florida. Yes, the DUI, sir. What's going to happen from here, we're going to take you down to the breath testing center. They're going to test your breath. And then, if need be, they're going to test your urine. In the brand new tapes just released, the former child star actually blames his lazy eye for the mix up. And just hours ago, the former child actor pleaded not guilty to the DUI charge. Right now from Hollywood is Deborah Oprey, who's a family law attorney, and also in Hollywood, Ken Baker, who's the chief news correspondent with E. So just after the Florida Highway Patrol pulled over David Cassidy on suspicion of drunk driving on November 3rd, a trooper asked Cassidy if he had any problems with his eyes, and this is what happened next. Better action like that? I do. Right. However, I had a wandering eye as a child. Okay. I had, had a surgery at... 12 years old, I had deformed muscles, which is associated with farsightedness. Okay, I'm not an obstetrician, that's all right. That's okay, I'm not asking you to be, I'm just telling you if you ask me about my eyes. No, I, I, my right eye still wanders so on eye now. All right, well, that wandering eye actually got him arrested. He failed sobriety tests. He claimed he was on prescription medication. And Showbiz Tonight has confirmed that Cassidy officially pleaded not guilty today in court. So, as odd as I think it sounds, Deborah, could the old lazy eye and prescription drug defense actually get David off here? The lazy eye routine has absolutely nothing to do with a breathalyzer test, AJ, and we all know that. If it's his first offense in Florida, his not being in court today is really not a problem. I think he will plead out, go to an alcohol uh, class, and hopefully stay out of the lazy eye lane. Well, uh, you know, no <laughs> nothing is funny about uh, allegedly drunk driving, but I think what's funny about the clip sure, is sure. it almost sounds like he's on stage. He's saying, I had a wandering eye as a child. That's so, Lindsay wants the paparazzi to back off. Let's not forget that Lindsay has always used the paparazzi to her advantage. So while this may seem a little bit hypocritical, I actually do think that this is a sign that Lindsay is finally taking a step in the right direction, wants to clean up her act, wants to lead a different life. Deborah, are you buying it? No, <laughs> I'm not buying it because Lindsay is still reporting to the Betty Ford Center alternative sentencing. She has to basically go along with the program they're giving her, and they don't feel it's safe for her to be out there with the paparazzi. She's not a Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis who set legal precedent with a 100-yard restraining order so by the press. you don't think it's a genuine effort on Lindsay's part to get the paparazzi to back up? I think it's desperation. She wants to drive. She uh, just wants to drive, and she wants to go to court and say, help me, get them away from me. She's not going to do it because it's public roads, and unless they're posing a threat to her safety and anyone else's, there's not going to be any action taken. What control do they have? You're calling baloney here on this effort. Uh, <laughs> salami. <laughs> okay, salami, baloney, whatever. Well, Lindsay Lohan isn't the only one trying to, you know, change her ways today. We just learned today that Teresa Judas, who stars in the Bravo reality show Real Housewives of New Jersey, will be teaching a class at the Learning Annex in New York City in January. As we know, Teresa has filed for bankruptcy. Her, her life has been in shambles, but the class she will be teaching is described as a class to teach you how to get your life in the right direction. And it'll all be for just $44, not 95 cents. Um, Ken, is this just nuts? You know what? Sign me up. I totally would take this class. Now, I might be biased being a celebrity news reporter, but I think it would be fascinating. She has such a great personality. I think she would have a lot of interesting things to say. Now, you, what you have to keep in mind, though, is we're not talking Harvard, Yale, Princeton. That would be ridiculous and absurd for her to do a class there. She's not teaching class there. It's the learning annex, okay? Okay, so I, that's I just think you just want some table flipping, some hair pulling, some <laughs> confrontation. Yeah, Lessons, that sort in of thing. Lessons in violence. Lessons in violence, Deborah says. Deborah Oprah, Ken Baker, thank you both. Okay, I cannot wait to show you what Matt Lauer did on live TV today. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, would you like Something struck me as funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so what in the world happened that caused Matt to lose it like this? Kate Middleton racked up major fashion points for wearing this royal blue stunner when she announced her engagement to Prince William. 
But when it comes to Kate's style today, do you love it or do you hate it? And did you see this? A famous football player, one that gets paid millions of dollars to catch the ball, drops a perfect pass and then does the unthinkable. He blames the big guy upstairs for his drop pass. Me, I never get over it. I never get over it. Ever. But Johnson.